Hey there, Aries. Uh, welcome to your reading for the week of January 21st. Uh, there we go. Lighting looks a little bit better, right? Uh, welcome to this reading. I go live, by the way, every single day at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you want to catch me live, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon. But uh, let's see what do we have going on for you. Uh, two eights. I love that. Uh, you start off with the Jack of Spades here and the Ace of Hearts. Uh, it does look like a, a good love week for some of you, I would say. Um, I would say for the other signs, not so much. For you, it looks a little bit better, is what I would say here. Uh, this could be somebody from your past, Aries. I feel like this has come up for you a couple of times. I'm not sure, but I feel like in the daily readings, I've been seeing this for you, um, you know, maybe for like the past few days. So for some of you, it could be somebody trying to come back from your past. Could be an air sign. Could be really any, any, like any sign, is what I would say there. But I feel like they were probably immature. And, uh, you know, again, just not ready is what I would say for a relationship or they could have been very just immature and you could be dealing with that. So I feel like this person could be popping up. I do see love here for you, but we'll talk about that in a second. For others, I feel like this could be healing. So if you've been having any health issues or if you've been having any uh, health challenges as well, I feel like uh, there could be some sort of healing there for you as as well. Uh, I just want to see where uh, Chiron is at the moment, at what degree. Um, we should be close to the end of Pisces, you know, retrograded back into Pisces before it moves into your sign. Yeah, we're at like 28.42 degrees, something like that. Once it moves to 29 degrees, um, if you are having any, um, you know, health issues and things like that, again, I'm not a doctor, so do not take this as medical advice. But once we, um, you know, according to Chris's crappy astrology here, once we get to 29 degrees, Chiron will truly lose all its power in Pisces. It's like those last few degrees, 28, 29, 30, you know, right at the end before it goes to zero is, um, you know, it's kind of like weakened. But I do feel like some people could have had like recurring health issues or, you know, things popped, pop up here at the end because it did go back to like 27 or 26 degrees or whatever it was in Pisces while it was retrograding. Um, but I do feel like you could be healing from something as well. Uh, next, you have the King of Hearts. Again, you've been having a water sign pop up in your readings um, a lot. So I do feel like for some of you, this could be love in the form of a water sign. And so... I don't know. I feel like a water sign could be coming up for you and uh, could be a very good person for you is what I would say there. And some of you I feel like could be with this person as well. I feel like there could be a lot of success there, a lot of releasing burdens and things like that. People always come up on my videos and they're like, fire and water doesn't work. I'm like, okay, uh, stay single. I, you know, it doesn't, no skin off my back. So uh, whatever. But, um, you know, again, I always tell people don't judge people based off their sun sign because sun doesn't mean a goddamn thing as far as relationships are concerned is what I would say there. Uh, it's probably like the worst thing to look at as far as love is concerned is the sun. So, uh, but I do feel like there could be a water sign coming in for some of you. For others, I feel like this could just be success, a return to success, or just noticing things getting easier. You know, I keep, people, people keep asking me, like, when are things going to get easier as far as, like, business or work is concerned? I'm like, well, probably never really, <laughs> you know, things, things don't really get easier. It's just, we get better. So I keep telling people, you know, wish to get better, wish, wish to get stronger because it's like, if we get better, then things will get easier just because we're like improving our skills in business or work. And I feel like this is what this is talking about. I feel like a lot of you are just getting better at dealing with things or you're just getting more efficient at dealing with things in business and work. And, um, you know, to me, this is all about efficiency. I've been talking about this for a while as well. All this stuff in Capricorn, it's like the 80, 20 rule. It says, in work, in business, focus on that, you know, 20% that gives you 80% of your results. So I feel like a lot of you are just kind of becoming more efficient at work. And I do feel like that will make things easier kind of in a certain way. Uh, next, you have the eight of diamonds. So definitely money coming in for you. I feel like there's an increase in finances. Yeah, it's like you're going from this seven of diamonds to this seven of diamonds is actually a pretty good card for money. It can represent promotions, but it can still represent a little bit of an imbalance, not being sure you know, where money is coming. It could represent an increase in finances, but again, it could still kind of say there maybe are some little uh, difficulties here and there as far as like, where's money coming in? You know, it, you know, maybe money isn't as predictable as you would like it to be or, or something. So again, there could be some sort of imbalance there, but this here is material success on the horizon, the eight of diamonds. So it does say there will be an increase for you soon. I feel like this is a card of working for the increase as well. But I would say work smarter, not harder, especially like in business. Like I said, I, I, I would be working to like if you have clients, get better clients or, you know, try to find the people who are better for your business in some way with this card. Uh, for others, I just feel like this could, that right there could represent a job as well. If, if you have been having a hard time getting a job or finding a job, this could be like, you know, imbalanced by not having a job and then 
this here says like a job will be coming in soon. Next you have the eight hearts. Really good card. Uh, great card for love. Look at, look at you. Three eights. That is awesome. So uh, eight of hearts is a very good card for love. It is a card of socializing to find love. Eight of clubs is a card of confusion. I do feel like, you know, uh, for you, probably for you, Pisces, maybe a couple other signs as well. The issue here with uh, three eights is time. It says like, you know, maybe you're like, I'm, you know, what? Maybe you have the, had these dreams in the past of like where you would be at this time of your life, no matter how old you are. And maybe you're, you're having these like thoughts and probably especially at night where you're like, Oh my God, I'm like too old or I didn't hit my goals by this certain age or something. So I feel like just looking at the chart here. There could be a lot of concerns about time and feeling like you're out of time and or feeling like time isn't, um, you know, kind of, it's it's almost like it's too late. I would say push those feelings aside because I feel like in probably, I don't know, like four weeks or so, so about a month, uh, those feelings will probably go away. Um, but this is a very good, these are, you know, again, really good cards for work, really good cards for reaching your goals, really good cards for trying to reach your goals as well. Uh, next you have the Seven of Clubs. This is a card of escaping from prison. It's really funny. Almost everybody has had this card this week. And I just feel like, again, what I've been saying to everybody else, with Uranus's push into Taurus in March, I feel like a lot of people will want to be more free. And I feel like people will really, really be focused on, you know, creating more freedom in their lives or creating the ability to like move around more and things like that as well. Um, again, I don't really know what I'm talking about, but what I would say is you're in Centaurus. I feel like we're going to see people who like, I think during this time, people won't want to like commit to living in one place. For example, I feel like we'll see people want to move around a lot more or, you know, they'll want to like travel a lot more. They won't want to be committed to like one thing. So I feel like a lot of you could be trying to create that freedom. And finally, you have the three clubs. Card of second chances with finances. So I do feel like for some of you, there could be a job opportunity coming back. I do feel for some of you here, it's almost like you applied for something, you didn't get it, but it could be coming back as well. So that could be really nice. And I would say also a ton of creativity here. I'd say if you do anything creative, you could be making money uh, based off of creativity or something creative that you do. Uh, but it looks really, really good. So it uh, looks good, Aries. So uh, thank you for watching and enjoy your week.